And what about uh, fairness in those AI algorithms? Sometimes people say that when they train them, they use data that might be skewed. And is this are these like real, real case scenarios? Are these happening frequently, or is this something that is rare? In in you know, no, it, in it happens. So let me let me give you an example. Some company made made a phone, right? And they trained. They they have the facial recognition, right? And and they trained their algorithm on certain data sets, and when another kind of person wants to open that phone using like their face, it it takes it makes it difficult, right? So it's not just a like a fairness concern; it's actually a business concern. You are not able to solve those consumers properly because your algorithm is only trained on like a very uh, on a certain subset. type of people in some yeah, locations subset, let's say. yeah subset of of your data right so so i i think you know um that concern is there and like i said uh you know uh we have only one planet right <laughs> you know if your neighbor is in trouble you are in trouble as well or if your neighboring country is in trouble you are in trouble as well are companies working on solving these problems i i think so i think I think you know everybody is you know everybody is concerned about it. Okay, there might be biases, right? Uh, yeah. And like uh, you know, I assume that everybody has a good uh, kind of a good place in their heart. And you intention. know, everybody, yeah, yeah, yeah good yeah. intentions. You know, uh, everybody is kind. You know, uh, and and like uh, they are trying to solve the problem rather than create it. So I think yeah, yeah, people are solving that problem, uh, but uh, I think definitely there is more to be done, a lot more to be done, uh, you know, because because uh, you cannot be cannot be isolated, you know. Like I said, you know, we are we are all, <laughs> you know, we are all like joined together. So yeah, absolutely. What about concerns that AI might take away some people's jobs? How do we address this concern? Yeah. It's a uh, it's a it's a great question again. Like it's it's been a perennial question whenever there is a new kind of uh, tool that that we come up with, right? So I mean, of course, we have that famous example of luddites, you know, and 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 uh, luddites, right? The whole luddite thing when the factory they started breaking machines and factories. The yeah, so when the when the machines came in to do the work for humans, you know, and 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 like you know. Uh, when you know, in, in in England, there would be these luddites who would like go in and like do these sneaky raids and break the machines. Uh, but it, yeah, but eventually, industrial revolution happened. You know, machines started doing major, majority of the physical labor that humans were doing, and like we created new kinds of jobs, right? So I am the, of that opinion that um, new kinds of jobs would be created, right? I, I'm you know uh, you know I'm very confident about it. The reason is that that's been like if you think even logically about i mean i won't like again i could be biased right but um you know uh you know uh, i think we should keep that in mind as well you know yeah but f- for example coding these days you can code using those uh generative ai tools like chat gpt or others is the coding uh, is the job of you know is like the, the career of a coder now under threat or or coders should basically ch- you know learn to upskill and they maybe use those tools to code faster yeah so so here's the thing as long as the fruits of the fruits of the the machine labor is distributed equally in the society i won't say like like again like the only equal thing is so it is is distributed fairly in the society like then if everybody is starting at the same standard, right, then you would always have like people have the different skills. For example, singing might be a great thing or creative thinking, right? And those would be charged more, right? There would be there would be basically uh you know um product for those or like you have you can sell that, right? Uh you know, uh, so what I mean by that is you have to have uh certain set of standards that you can set, right? Okay, robots are gonna do the jobs, right? Then do you get like some kind of a basic uh, standard of living for everybody, right? Like it's not like the robots are only doing the jobs for the rich people and all the poor people are like stranded. Then then there would be new kinds of work, right? The new people, the poor people would, I mean, poor people would also be free with their daily chores, like their basic needs, like, you know, food, water, shelter that's taken care of by the robots, 
then there would be new kinds of jobs. You see what I'm saying? And then there they'll, would be de- new... they'll do more strategic things, maybe. Exactly. Than there would there would be yeah yeah right. 